Cave paintings Cave paintings have fascinated and intrigued people from their discovery to the present day. They are found on every continent, each reflecting the cultural specificities, environment, and era in which they were created. The most renowned among them, particularly for their artistic beauty, include the paintings in Lascaux and Chalvet Caves in France, Altamira Cave in Spain, and Calaboea and Cusilet Caves in Romania. They also provide us with information, or rather clues, about human evolution, daily life, and the religious and cultural beliefs of prehistoric people. Today, I will share a funny story related to one of these caves, perhaps the most studied and well-known of them all, the Lascaux Cave in France. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Buru who loved to hunt bison and deer, and he especially enjoyed the taste of deer meat because he found it to be delicate and flavorful, with a slightly sweet taste and juicy texture. Almost every day, he went hunting. Once, while wandering among hills and valleys, dense forests rich in wildlife and vegetation, he discovered a large cave, unknown to anyone from his tribe. He took with him two torches that shone brightly and their fire was hard to extinguish, and he ventured into the cave. Being very curious, he wanted to explore the area. The cave turned out to be much larger and deeper than he expected, so he only went into a certain point, so as not to get lost and not be able to get out. But he advanced far enough to notice some interesting paintings on the walls, ones he had never seen or heard of before. He didn't have to walk far before noticing various animals painted on the cave walls, bison, deer, and other drawings he couldn't understand. Then, as he ventured further into the cave, he discovered many horses drawn on the walls. He had never seen anything like it before, but he immediately recognized the animals by their shapes painted on the walls. His first thought was to run home and bring the whole tribe there to see what he had discovered. He set off quickly, already imagining how surprised the others would be. But when he reached the cave entrance, he changed his mind. A brilliant idea came to him, he believed. He paused for a moment. He burst into laughter, then continued on his way home, smiling until he arrived. What was so funny? We'll find out soon. He had a younger friend, whom he asked to go through the entire tribe and inform all the men to come to him because he had something important to say, something they had never heard in their lives. This friend went, and by evening, most of them had gathered eagerly, coming to see what it was about, what was so important that Buru called the whole village together. They pondered various scenarios, some dark, some hopeful. Some of the people imagined that their homes were in danger, perhaps a rival tribe was planning something against them and Buru had found out. Or maybe he had found wild horses somewhere and wanted to call them to catch the horses. Everyone imagined something different. When everyone had finally gathered, Buru spoke. With a solemn, serious, and majestic demeanor, he began to speak slowly, deliberately, and loudly. Fellow hunters, brothers, and esteemed leaders of our tribe, as we gather here tonight, under the vast expanse of the starlit sky, I come before you with a matter of great importance. Tonight, my brethren, I bring news that may shake the very foundations of our existence. It is a revelation that I have discovered in the depths of the earth. I found something that none of you has ever seen before, and you cannot even imagine such a thing. I found a bunch of bisons, which are neither alive nor dead. Horses that are neither alive nor dead. Deer that are neither alive nor dead. Animals that run and at the same time stand still. You can't even imagine such things. What do you mean they're neither alive nor dead? And how can they run while standing still? Everyone wondered. Some believed, others didn't. They began to argue among themselves whether such a thing was possible. Buru let them argue for a few moments, then he spoke again. Quiet. Make peace. Whoever is interested and wants to see, come to my right. Those who are not interested, go home. Slowly everyone lined up to his right. Now, whoever wants me to show them the animals, bring me a deer or other prey you have hunted. As soon as you all bring me an animal, we can leave. Whoever brings me a deer, I will show them many deer. 
Whoever brings me a bison, I will show them many bisons. Whoever brings me a horse, I will show them many horses. You will surely be able to catch them. But I tell you, they are neither alive nor dead. So, driven by the desire to win, but especially by curiosity, everyone brought him an animal, whoever had one. When he gathered the animals from everyone, they set off on the road. The people's impatience reached its peak. They almost ran to the cave, barely speaking to each other, each eager to outpace the others. Some whispered jokes, but all in a hurry. The older ones struggling to keep up with the younger ones. When they reached the cave, they all entered in a heap. Buru showed them with a majestic tone. Look, bisons! Look, deer! Look, horses! The people's amazement was immense. They touched the walls and the paintings. They had never seen anything like it. For a few moments, no one could speak from astonishment, but quickly their silence turned into the loudest screams. They became furious. They realized that these animals could not be hunted, they could not be eaten. They all screamed and ran to catch Buru, to kill him, to make him neither dead nor alive. Buru, understanding that the situation was serious, started to run, the people after him, that's how they ran home, chasing Buru, but he managed to disappear among the trees, into the forest. He never returned to the village, but he managed to take with him some of the animals that were alive, which he received from the people in exchange for showing them the cave with the animals. It took a long time for the people to calm down. They were furious because they each lost an animal, and they couldn't even punish Buru as he deserved. However, after many years, they remembered with amusement what had happened, and they named the cave Buru's Cave. Today is one of the most famous caves with prehistoric cave paintings, the Cave of Lascaux. In the Annals of Time, the legend of Buru and the Miraculous Cave lived on, a testament to the enduring power of curiosity and the mysteries of our ancient past. And as the sun sets over the rugged landscape, casting its golden hues upon the forgotten caverns, we are reminded that some secrets are meant to be uncovered, while others remain shrouded in the mists of time, awaiting the curious souls who dare to seek them out. The story of Buru and the characters are fictional. The historical realities are as follows. One. Lascaux cave paintings offer a remarkable window into the prehistoric world, providing insights into the daily lives, beliefs, and artistic capabilities of humans in the Upper Paleolithic era. 2. Situated in the Dordogne region, the Lascaux cave is famous for the complexity and beauty of its paintings. 3. These paintings depict animals such as horses, bulls, bisons, and deer. 4. Cave paintings provide clues about the religious and cultural beliefs of prehistoric people. 5. Prehistoric painters used natural pigments, such as red ochre, yellow ochre, and manganese black or charcoal, to create these images. Techniques include engraving the walls and applying pigment with brushes made from animal hair or by blowing pigment onto the cave wall. 6. It is believed that the paintings had a ritual or religious significance possibly related to hunting or the fertility of animals. 7. The cave was discovered in 1940 by four teenagers accompanied by a dog. Because of the damage caused by visitors, the original cave was closed to the public in 1963. To allow people to see and appreciate the cave art, detailed replicas of the cave were created, known as Lasco 2, 3, and 4. Lasco 4, opened in 2016, offers an immersive and educational experience using state-of-the-art technology to reproduce the original cave as faithfully as possible.